Hello everyone, if you are having problem with some software or not being able to figure out how to work on them to get required ground profile, you are at the right place. In this video we are going to learn about how to get the ground profile from the available contour in AutoCAD. Before we begin, if you're new here, I'm Vishnu, and I create practical AutoCAD tutorials to help you level up your drafting skills one step at a time. There are more useful tutorials on my channel and still more videos are on the way, so make sure don't miss any. Let's dive in and make AutoCAD a little easier for you to master. Well, in this tutorial video, we are going to use a Lisp file which will very easily provide us contour surface profile which we can use in our detailed drafting works. Well, if you are new for the term Lisp. A Lisp file is a text file containing code written in the Lisp programming language. Lisp files are commonly used to store functions, macros, and other code structures that can be loaded and executed within a Lisp environment, such as in AutoCAD or other applications that support Lisp. So, in this process, you need to have a Lisp file first. Here we can see a Lisp file. I have named this file as CAD Magics, which is my YouTube channel name and in bracket we can see GPR, which stands for Ground Profile. This Lisp will activate the GPR command in AutoCAD which will help in generating ground profile on the basis of contour lines we have. Now, let's select this Lisp file and copy it with Ctrl plus C. Open the AutoCAD file in which we have our survey contours. Now we have to paste our copied Lisp at the place where AutoCAD uses the space for loading Lisp application. For that, we can go and click at this tools option. We can see here load application. Click here. We are at the place where AutoCAD program Lisp files are located. Or, let's just close it for now. We can also access that location by command. We can just type upload or even easier, AP and press enter. We are at the same place. From here we can load or unload any applications which are either AutoCAD default programs or any we have brought here. Let's right click somewhere here and paste. We have to provide administrative permissions for the changes we want to make, click continue and click yes. Then the Lisp file is pasted at this location. Till now we have just pasted our Lisp file here. To get our command to work on this file, we have to load it first. For this, we have to select our Lisp file and click on this load. And we can see here Kidmagic's gpr.lsp successfully loaded. Now we can close this dialog box. One important thing we should always remember is that, for generating profile, the alignment we select must be polyline. Now, let's select the layer as zero. Let's draw a polyline from here and go on clicking up to here. Now let's type our command that is GPR and press enter. We can see here, it's prompting us to enter the layer name of the contours. Press escape. Let's select this contour and see its name. Here I have name of contour is 1. So let's type command again, GPR and press enter. Now let's type the contour layer name that is 1 and press enter. Now it asks us to select the horizontal alignment. So, click on the alignment line from which we are going to generate the profile. For vertical exaggeration, leave it as default, 1. Just type enter. Now we can see the profile has been created in a flash. The reference level shown here is the level of the lowest level of the contour. And the levels shown here are the level of contours cut by the horizontal alignment. A is the starting point of alignment location and B is the ending point. Now we can copy this profile and take it wherever we need. Let's copy this with Ctrl plus Shift plus C and delete this from here. Now let's zoom extend. We are back at the contour plan. We can paste our profile here and start working on it. Change the layers and colors as per our standards. We can resize the texts. We can delete unnecessary lines. Didn't you find it very easy? We just draw a polyline. Type command GPR. Type contour name. Select the horizontal alignment. Just press enter at vertical exaggeration. And boom, we get the profile. Now we can copy this profile and take it wherever we need. 
Let's copy this with Ctrl plus Shift plus C and delete this from here. Now let's zoom extend. We are back at the contour plan. We can paste our profile here and start working on it. Change the layers and colors as per our standards. And that's a wrap. You can simply click on the link shared below to download the Lisp file. And I still have hundreds of useful Lisp files at my backup. Since my channel is very new, do not hesitate to support. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. If you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or need more clarification, drop them in the comments below, I'd love to help. Thanks for watching, and happy drafting!